so amid all this fullness that we call life, um, we continue to search for definitive answers to human problems. So we look for you know, the perfect technology or the perfect uh, solution to the, for the perfect economy or the perfect diet or the perfect relationship. And yet, history has revealed to us that there has never been a definitive answer to any of these questions. Life doesn't lend itself to being known in a static way. It just continues to show us that nothing is certain. So the truth of uncertainty is actually acknowledged even in the realm of science. As a theoretical physicist, uh, David Peet, he was a student of David Bohm, who was a colleague of Einstein or a student of Einstein, he said, it is widely understood in the realm of science that certainty is a failed historical enterprise. That we live in uncertainty doesn't mean that the world is broken. It's just that life by nature is dynamic, it's expressive, and full of vitality. It's open to interpretation, and we never know what's next. Everything is always a work in progress, and so the data is never all in. So this poignant truth challenges us as we try to understand our humanness. It presents us with a predicament. How do we respond to and live in a world that is not solvable? This is what the Buddha asked. And his path is a poignant, challenging, and beautiful exploration of this very question. So one way we ordinarily respond to the human predicament is we try to fix the unfixable world of things. Now, if you look up the word fix in the dictionary, it says to place securely or to make stable or firm. So in essence, when we aim to fix, we want to bring something to a static or a lasting state. Our longing to fix can be motivated by the best of intentions, for instance, to bring the world to a lasting state of peaceful equilibrium. Many beautiful and courageous things have taken place in the world through understanding that there's no better way to utilize our lives than to respond to suffering with all our might. As the Dalai Lama says, you know, we humans are social beings. We come into the world as a result of others' actions. We survive here in dependence upon others. Whether we like it or not, there's hardly a moment of our lives in which we do not benefit from others' activities. For this reason, it is hardly surprising that most of our happiness arises in the context of our relationship with others, nor is it so remarkable that our greatest joy should come when we are motivated by concern for others. So this is the truth of our experience, and yet the human condition continues. <clears throat> 